The next topic is maintaining tables. And this is something that people often run into in the open source is, you know, they they go through some of the, you know, open tutorials for using Iceberg. They get something set up initially, maybe ingesting data, but without understanding that there are maintenance functions that need to happen against these tables, going back to kind of deferring work, over time, state for the table can accumulate to a point that it's really hard to work with that table going forward. And this is where you need to continue to maintain these tables. And a few of these operations are things like snapshot cleanup. So snapshot cleanup is kind of removing historical uh, uh, versions of the table. So in Iceberg, every state of the table is transitioned from one immutable state to another immutable state of the table. And how we get time travel is you're looking back in time over those snapshots of the table and finding the one that corresponds to whatever time you're time, trying to travel to. At some point, though, you need to age these off or you need to remove them from your data set. And, and that comprises two things. It's actually removing the state from the table metadata, but it's also removing, removing the physical files so that your data warehouse doesn't just grow uh, indefinitely. So this is something that you need to do. Uh, you know, there are procedures in you know, Spark and Trino and other systems that will allow this to be performed. And it's something that can kind of creep up on you if you don't think about it. The next one is orphan files. This is also kind of a cleanup janitor functionality, which is many of these execution engines, they have failure modes uh, where they will leave data spread throughout your data warehouse. So if you have a Spark job that has tasks or stages that fail, it may have produced files that it doesn't actually clean up. If you have an out of memory in a driver, or if your Trino coordinator dies during the execution of a query, you may have files in bad state that are just sprinkled throughout your data warehouse. Orphan files is what goes through and compares what the reachability of the table is versus all of the objects that are under wherever that table location happens to be and removes anything that shouldn't be there. This is important because you can actually get a, a big littering of files that last forever. It's really important that you remove these if you have a compliance or you need to know that your data set is being uh, uh, truncated at, at some interval. Without that, you could be leaving data out there that can kind of leave you exposed. The third one is rewrite data files. And rewrite data files is kind of an optimization thing, but it is really going and replacing small files with larger files. A lot of tunable settings for how you execute these things, but the main purpose of this is actually to keep the, the data set itself kind of healthy. The larger your data set is, the more partitions you have, the more files you have, the more planning you're gonna have to do when you're actually running a query. So this really helps in keeping everything kind of clean and maintained. It allows you to scale your, your data sets up to really, really large volumes. Uh, you know, We've seen data sets in the tens of petabytes easily. And you have to keep on top of this in order to make that still a usable data set. Otherwise, you spend a lot of time going through planning. The execution plans can get quite large because they have lots and lots of tasks that they have to work through. So rewrite data files is a major component of maintaining your warehouse. So the best practice here is to aggressively maintain tables. Uh, this is something that is a little insidious in that like if you have one table and you're playing around it seems reasonable i can just go and run this procedure i can you know schedule this after my job runs and you know clean up the table that works well but once you have tens hundreds thousands and we've got companies that have hundreds of thousands of tables the amount of overhead in just like executing those things to try and schedule figure out how do we do this maintenance activity it's actually quite complicated and this is where, you know, like Tabular provides background activities that does, does this on your behalf. We've seen other entrants that are doing similar things like the compaction one, we've seen a couple of different variations on. The main thing is like, this is undifferentiated work. This is just kind of the janitor operations you need in order to keep your, your warehouse healthy. You of course can go build it. The procedures are out there. There are very likely better optimized uh, ways of dealing with that than what you can get out of the procedure. And that's why you might want to turn to a vendor and say, hey, we just don't want to have to deal with this. Let's focus on data engineering, data science. 